Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and welcome back to Firewatch, the being a Fire Watchman simulator, I guess if you like. Last time we started our job as a Fire Watchman, went down to a beach and yelled at some naked girls in a lake, and it's possible they or maybe someone else have uh, trashed our house. So today it's time to have a wander around and see if we can find any more clues and figure out what has actually gone on here. Who has trashed my place? Why? And what has happened to those girls? And who was that their bloke? So let's go and have a little look -see around, shall we? All right, let's head back downstairs. Uh, down we go. And it kind of feels like like when you're above here, you're part of like uh, in separate rules. Because the moment I'm down past that bit where your arm touches that thing, you can't run. But the moment you pass it, you can run again. So all right, let's head back the way we came through that cave, and I will rejoin you outside Cash uh, Three O Three. Unless of course you run into anything uh, slightly intimidating, like a mysterious person has left a massive dump in my outhouse. What a jerk! Pretty sure that was me that left that open. I shouldn't be worried about that. Ooh, nice cold morning fog like that. God, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? And what is life like? Uh, talk about Julie. Sure, I want to know who that is. I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well, but you're taking a little break, or we're. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. What? What's going on? Hello? Oh no, listen, listen. I'm absolutely sure. What's happening? She doesn't know I can hear her. Would you? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. She just left her radio on. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. I don't actually know. Um, yeah, talk about Julia. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. I don't know why either. Um, she's sick and I shouldn't be here. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. All right. Well, we can just leave it at that. Thanks. Okay, so this leads up north, right? I think this is the right way. Yeah, so if we just cut our way through here, and then it actually looks like there's pretty much not much kind of really I can divert from the course. Then it's just a choice of two paths heading uh, straight up north there. Survey the communication lines. Oh, the communication lines will be the, um, presumably those green dots. So I'll intercept them as we go along the trail, and then we can just follow them up, and I'm guessing ultimately we're just heading towards Beartooth Point. Whatever that is, fine. But it isn't like I can really get lost along here. There's just a choice of paths. We get a little further along, but it shouldn't be too bad at all. Just might keep my compass out to make sure I'm still always heading on the northward, uh, northward journey. And when I say that, I'm suddenly heading east. What the? Why? Everything's suddenly green. Oh, I'm supposed to be heading east. Head east and then kind of bear north in a minute. All right, and here we go. Lines of communication, telephone poles just started to put or some form of utility pole up ahead. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, so Delilah, there might be more to her than meets the eye, given she was talking to someone else. At, I don't think he knows. Interesting. So I need to report on each of these one by one, do I? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Fair enough. Uh, that's the next one. Don't you see something pass up? Yes, there we are. Oh, uh, Beartooth Point heading up that way. Or... Uh, thoroughfare fire lookout. That's where Delilah actually is. 5.4 miles in that direction. Or just north point two up here. Lovely. So I just basically need to follow the trail, passing by each of these one by one. Well, that looks like the end of the trail up there. Up, uh... Yeah, that's a loose wire. I see it. Fine. So we just need to follow that up to what I'm guessing is indeed whatever it's called. Bear, bear tooth point. And that there is... Ooh, hello. 
What's that? And you wake up. Can you see the wire? You wake up pretty early. Yeah, can you see the wire? Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Yep, that looks like the problem right there. But what's this thing? What is that? Is that a... That looks like a cache up there. If it is, I'd like to loop around and get it if I can. Yep, here we are. The next one. 302. Beautiful. Always worth stopping at these guys just for the sake of... Uh, yeah, making sure that I've got a up-to-date as possible map. Now, anything useful here? Oh, a note. Hello. And, oh, press Y to read a note. Dave, hey -o, got your note about needing to talk. Sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos Profesionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time travelling, Ron's your guy. I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it? So whoever Dave was, seems like Dave was having... Maybe he was my predecessor. Oh, 86. So we know we're just shortly after 86. Fine. So I think I'll keep this note, just in case. Pine cones. Lots of pine cones. So what else have we got in here? Ridiculously large amounts of pine cones, which I can't really do anything with, apparently. Let's get rid of the pine cones in case there's anything underneath them. Get rid of the pine cones. And a board... Ah, and something under the board. Right, go away, board. Something secret down here. What is this? Six feet down under. What looks like a slightly trashy detective novel. Interesting. And I can't keep it, so I guess we'll just put it back in back in here. Alright, fine. And then have a little look-see at this information here. So this is, uh, yeah, Cash 302, which is where I am. Pretty eroded over here. It looks like it just might be... Actually, it doesn't that adds much to... That actually doesn't like it adds much to my map, aside possibly from the route I'm supposed to go to. To Ooh, to Mule Point and Two Forks Lookout. Oh, that could be useful then. So that's potentially a different way to get back to Two Forks from here. All right, fine. We'll copy that information down. Make a note of it. It could be a way around from, uh, yeah, from the, the bare place. Can I drop down from here, by the way? Am I allowed? Yes, I am. Long drop down. I can totally make that. Ow, my knees. And what's this? More beer cans. The same uh, the same brand as the girls were drinking. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Right, what can we do about that? And how can these girls be so stupid? Oh, you know, let's ask why they'd be up here. Let's actually try and get a proper answer to this. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. All right, well, let's get the cans. Just clean that up. Clean it up. And climb up. But yeah, I'd say the same brand of beer makes it fairly likely it's the same girls. And more beer cans. Yep, clean the beer cans. Let's leave a nice tidy park. Pretty compelling evidence that it was the... Oh, flipping. Right. So, uh, go to hell. It says a little sign that's been left for me. And end of the wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. 
Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Alright, so there's a can here, and obviously there's a different path down that was marked on my map, so... Follow the... How fast were these girls drinking beer that there could actually be a path of beer cans that I could actually follow? That's slightly ridiculous, but alright, we've got, uh... Yeah, where are... Hang on, no, so we're up there. So we can follow this path round here if we just follow an easterly direction. There's a supply drop up north, that's a way that leads up to... Oh! It's a thoroughfare lookout, but I'm guessing I can't go that way, even though that's where my... Well, probably not my girlfriend, because I've got a wife. So we've just got all of this stuff here. I, they got through beer cans bloody quickly, these girls. Just need to follow everything out this way. Yep. How fast were you drinking? <laughs> I get the game has to leave like a little kind of trail of breadcrumbs, but the rate at which they were drinking beer is slightly ridiculous. And incidentally, like, surely at the point at which they've actually vandalised government property, where they've actually, like, cut wires, that's the point where we actually do call a park ranger and they come and get themselves arrested, because that's vandalising federal property. That's got to be quite a serious crime, surely. So, a couple of signs here. That loops back towards the lake and indeed my home. Or that way is a supply drop. Or the way to the thoroughfare. Look, well, I kind of want to go this way just to figure out why exactly what stops me just going and finding Delilah. And at the bare minimum, I want to pick up that supply drop and see if there's anything interesting there. Because that's very close by. So, okay, we've got a supply drop somewhere around here, which I think is... Yeah, supply drop just around the corner here. Which possibly the girls may have already vandalised, but okay. This is, hopefully, the same as all the others. One, two, three, four. Yep, open it up. Lovely. So what we've got is literally nothing. <laughs> the supply cache is actually useless. That's per Is there literally nothing in here? Nope, nothing. The supply cache is actually worthless. All right, well, what stops me going to um, cutting through here? I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of impassable barrier between, uh, between me and... Ooh, blimey, that's pretty. Is that actually the... No, oh, wait, hang on, let me just look here. No, that's not the way. There should be a branch off in this direction that I should be able to follow that should lead me up towards thoroughfare, but uh, for some reason I'm guessing I won't be allowed yet. And I'm kind of curious to see what the game puts in the way as an invisible barrier. Ah! This thing! A cable car! Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Okay, so help, it's an emergency. Help, oh god, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado, I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. <sighs> okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. All right, so I'm guessing there will be an emergency in a subsequent episode that will allow me to go through to thoroughfare, but not just right now. For the moment, I have to focus on the important things in life, like making sure I spot all the beer cans so I can pick them up before an adorable little hedgehog gets his head caught in one. And oh no, it's another shale rock slide thing. I'm not good at these. Oh, but wait, I can't do this because I don't have a rope. Am I allowed to just... Ooh... Okay, this is interesting. What's... Ooh, hello. Hang backpack. Let's swipe that. Is that some some rope I can use? Brian Goodwin's backpack. Who's Brian Goodwin? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. And I'm guessing I'm going to get myself a rope out of this. Oh, a camera. All right, taking a photo. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. 
With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. And who exactly is he? He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Well, that's, that doesn't sound like he was a great kid at all. It sounds like they were terrible. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. I will. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Alright, so you can just do that. Can you zoom in at all? No, but you can take a nice picture. That's a nice picture. And then, oh yeah, you actually do only have a limited number of shots. So I won't actually use that that much in case that's actually an important thing later. But I've taken a nice shot there. Although actually, it was 24 shots and it started with 18. Meaning that there were 6 already used. Now I'm wondering if there's going to be something potentially in the others. Like those six, those first six shots might be something about the mystery of, uh, yeah, of Brian Goodwin. Ah, and now that rope's there, so now I can climb, presumably. Yeah, now I can climb back up that way. Good, it's no longer, uh, it's now no longer just kind of like a locked... Oh, do I have to do it again? Oh, for goodness sake, I have to waste multiple... Oh, actually, I don't have to waste ropes at all. Apparently, I've got basically now infinite rope because there's no number on screen. Fine. And a new one of these means more map information. Always welcome. Fossilized claw. Excellent. The things are getting more and more interesting. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Okay, and we've got ourselves another note here. Ooh, uh, oh, I can read it or I can report it in. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Uh, no, not that shit heel, Steve, your man, Ron. I went to check out the new guy at Two Forks, heard him talking to himself more than usual, figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. I guess that means Chimney Rock was, um, yes, taking care of himself in a hammock. Interesting. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Okay, let's toast to Deb at the spot. So Dave and Ron. Interesting. I wonder if we can, yeah, let's, let's talk about these notes. Let's uh, report the notes. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay, so this must be where I am now. This will be two, yeah, two, four, one. So I'm at the top of that map there, meaning I head down to, oh, where well, there's bear sightings, blimey. And then there's just a choice of kind of three routes, including one that's a bit off the beaten track. So I might go for this route on the left, because this leads to apparently what looks like a mystery route, and then just down towards two forks. And in this area, no access. Someone said we can't have that area. All right, fine, we'll add all that to my map. But I'm going to take, yeah, the left-hand branch down in order to try and get to where that mystery little branch was. So, yeah, we'll go this way and see what that Just does. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Uh, I've no clue. Um, she's actually sick. She's a college professor. Well, she must be sick. But then that makes me sound like a terrible person, because why have I abandoned her? Um, she, yeah, she's a college professor. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution and stuff. Ooh, evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Boulder. That's a great school. My cousin went there. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. And ooh. What looks like a whole bunch of stripped or, yeah, burnt, a burnt area. 
from this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Okay, so she's requested I stay out here. There is a path that leads out to what looks like a dead end up there, which strikes me as potentially an interesting starting point. So I'm going to turn back on myself, turn to the left, and loop around the other way. So I'm going to take a left and then another left behind me in order to see if I can find, yeah, any, uh, if I can find them along the end of that path. Alternatively, there's a path beyond where I am at the moment. So I'm going to check out both those locations, see if I can find any evidence of the girls at them. Ah, an offence. This would be the area that was marked as no access, right? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. So she doesn't know about it. Interesting. Who are they keeping out? What are they keeping in? Could the girls be behind this fence? Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. So, no trespassing, 18 US code, 1863, but I can't call that in. As in, ask what that code would refer to. Alright, so where's that on the map, then? Yeah, great big fence blocks me off from going any further in that direction. So I can't go any further in that direction, which would suggest presumably I therefore have to go down beyond the burned area, then take a left down to whatever that is, or if that fails, down back towards Thunder Canyon where I've already been. But I'm guessing I'm running out of options other than that thing beyond the burnt trees. Okay, well that was interesting to know about at least. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Okay, flapjack. Excuse me, flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. And hey, flapjack. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. All right, so. We're beyond the burned area. That looks like... Looks like it might be a path up there. What is that, then? Uh, okay, so that's the path that leads me back to Thunder Canyon, whereas to my left, there looks like a dead end, which logically, therefore, would be the way I want to go if I'm trying to find the teens. I'm guessing, like, a dead end out here. Basic game design says if there's, some, if there's clearly something that's a complete dead end that shouldn't lead anywhere, there'll be something out there. Oop. We've got a rope hook here. And we can we can get we can get down and back up nice and easily now. Cause now we can just leave ropes everywhere. That's fine. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. Uh, let's not talk about my wife. Who'd you leave? Okay, that jockey story, it's actually about you, huh? <laughs> no. But can you believe that? It's crazy, right? Well, so then who? I'm the rare breed. My heart's intact. That doesn't mean I didn't join up to get away. But there's more to life than sex and romance. I don't think about anything I'm missing out here that I could be getting back there. That's great. You should buy a lottery ticket when you get home. Wyoming doesn't have the lottery. Well, come to Colorado. I'll take you to the res. It's not luck. I just choose not to let a man dictate how my life goes. Well, that's not normal. Whatever you say, Hank. All right. Where are we? Right. Oh, no, no. Get the map out. Get the map out. Where have we got ourselves to? Oh, wait. We've joined back up to... We've joined back... Oh, sorry, I've already joined back up to the route where I was, which is fine. Okay, so I actually need to go... I need to retrace my steps. That leads into the route I was already on, 
which means I actually want to climb, uh, climb back up where I just came, or go up this way, I think. And all of a sudden, some very gentle, almost Life is Strange music has uh, kicked off. That's very pleasant. It's previously, like the game's been basically silent up to this point, so this is a, a bit of a change of pace. So I believe this, then, is the way I need to go. Yeah, here we are. Loop round here. Jump down here. And then, this should be the final dead end. If I don't find them here, I'm not sure where I find them at all. You're not one of those guys who's building a great plan to get her back while you're out here, are you? Because you don't want to be that guy. I know everyone sees that guy in the movies and thinks, I can do that, I can get her back. But you should know, we hate that guy. If she broke up with you, she's already with someone else. And if you broke up with her, she won't have you back if she's worth a damn. Yeah, but what do I know? Maybe you got to her in September and you've got twins by June. But it won't be because of your skills as a conversationalist. I'm not one of those guys. I'm not one of those guys. That's not what I'm doing. Phew. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Look, I might just be full of shit, you know? I had considered that. I mean, I feel like I must be going in the right direction because I'm getting new conversations popping up as if the game expects me to be going this area. So now we've got a canyon crossover. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. And then climb up top. So am I- oh yeah, so I'm getting on top of Thunder Canyon when previously I was going through the bottom of it. So this is- this is definitely a new area, yes. The question is, how would the girls have got out here? Unless the girls have a hell of a lot of very good quality climbing equipment for a couple of very drunk girls who did not seem like uh, the rough and tumble outdoorsy sort, but apparently brought flipping wire cutters with them. And this here has brought me almost back to, I believe, where I started, I think. Which is interesting, because I feel like I must be going the right way, because the game keeps lock trail. Can we clear that? I can't. Maybe I need a machete or something in order to clear that trail, but for the moment I can just bypass it, so that's fine. And then indeed, there's, uh, yep, yeah, Two Forks or Jonesy Lake. So maybe I should loop back towards the lake, in case she said just in case they looped back towards the lake, but I feel like... Let's check the supply cache, make sure there's nothing new in here. No, same as it was. Head back towards the lake just in case they're back there. Check if their supplies there. Ooh, thin column of smoke. I apparently saw a thin. Well, the game saw a thin column of smoke anyway. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. All right. Thin column of smoke. Or uh, Five Mile... Five Mile Creek. Five Mile Creek. Five Mile Creek. Five... Ooh! Five Mile Creek. Oh, okay, yep, I see exactly where I'm supposed to go. That place where I could turn south previously, I could go, I could go again. That's fine. So, the place where I saw in the first bit, where I based it on the first day where I said I don't need to go that way. Now I do need to go that way. Now this time, could I please not fall down and break something? Or is that going to be a running joke in this game? That every time I go down the Widowmaker, it keeps breaking and I keep, uh, I keep falling to my death. No, we actually good this time, even though it looks like the rock is actually glitching inside the razor sharp rocks. All right, then. Better and better. So this time, she said, go down towards Five Mile Creek. That's fine. Heading south and then looping round to the right should do that. I mean, what I probably am curious about now is, like, when I originally scared those girls, was dumping their stereo in the water the only way to get their attention? Were they, like, going to, like, keep, like, mocking me and refuse to do anything until I did that? Was that the only solution? Or was there a more nice solution? Man, you had a full-on PhD at home. <laughs> Part of me thinks that would be insufferable, but then there's another part of me that can't help but indulge the whole hot for teacher thing. You know, heavy petting in the book stacks, furtive glances during lecture, ooh, 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 office hours role play. But professor, I can't fail chemistry. Isn't there anything I can do to pass the class? Hmm? 
<laughs> I should probably tell her she's actually oh, God, sick. The second part's winning. I should be honest. Well, I called to ask about her, but now I think I've entertained myself plenty. Thanks. Look, uh, she's actually really sick. She got very sick, and we couldn't be together anymore, and that's why I'm here. Oh. My, my God, I... I... I mean, I mean, fuck. What, what happened? We can talk about it later. Oh, I, I had to be honest. Like, that was getting... I didn't mean to deceive her. I just wanted to be polite. But as it just kept coming up... Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter which way I go. It looks like both the routes lead the same way. We're going to pass Cash 309, which means I'm going to know I'm on the right route. But uh, just kind of keep bearing, bearing to the right and look out for the cash ahead of me. It looks like this area through here. Oh, it's... I'm just going to take a quick photo. Hang on. Yeah, that's 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 pretty enough to justify a photo. There we go. Lovely. And there's uh, Cash 309. Might be able to get a little bit of extra information on our map, an extra note or something. Good to know the girls haven't cracked our cunning code, at least. And a missing persons flyer. All right. Well, who was this? Read it. Uh, Mitch Michaels, 31... Distinctive facial hair, last seen around Jonesy Lake on uh, July 3rd, 1981. So that's about at least five years ago, possibly a little bit longer ago. All right, fine. And we may as well kind of call that in. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and... Then the next, you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. And... Didn't sound good. Grizzlies, Grizzlies won't kill a-holes. Uh, you really didn't like him. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly... I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! Oh, and yeah, PTSD. So. Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. So, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? And no, I did not. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Nice, but first I want to take a picture of these god rays. Nice. And that's the stream in question. What does she have? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully I know. Oh. Oh, Alzheimer's. That's the worst thing. Sorry, I don't mean to just... That's the worst it thing. Ready. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you? Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. 
Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Okay, well, on the plus side, I know he didn't just abandon his wife because she got sick, which is good, but that, that's a, dementia's such a bastard. Dementia and Alzheimer's, like, a, a, any other disease might ravage your body, but you're still who you are. But to forget who you are and to forget your loved ones and to not recognise those who you love more than anything else in the world, it's, it's a shit thing. Dementia is awful. Okay, right. Well, we found a beer can. We found on the girls at least. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. All right, pick that up and clean it up. Now, I'm guessing that means possibly this route up here. Let's just check the map, figure out where we are here. So, campfire smoke, I'm guessing up in that area. But it looks like if I just keep... If I, yeah, were to cross the river from where I am and follow this route, that would lead me in the right direction. So, what's this path? Is this another way? Oh, this must. Oh, that's just another way around to where I was. Fine. So I do indeed need to cross the river, follow the. What's that? I mean, there's a thing suggesting there's a path that loops round, but what's that ahead of me? Hung on that. Hung on the tree. Don't 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 worry about the waterfall. What's that? No, there's a waterfall. But what's this? Scrap of fabric. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Okay, and there's a bean, there's a waterfall here. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. And just a quick one for the photo album. There we go. And then it looks like if I just head north here through this here formation, we'll get to a big open area where we saw that plume coming from. Though I can't see it now, actually. Uh, where's it gone? No, I can't see that plume anymore. Through here. And, ah! The teen campfire. Same two teens. Now, I think it's... I feel like... Yeah, okay. Oh, so we've got proof. Those are my sheets. You utter horrible people. Ah, found my sheets! The girls stole them? Yeah, but the thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? Well, we don't really know yet. I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, I've no idea. I have no idea. It's pretty bad. Well, just look around. Make sure they weren't, you know, injured or... Uh, murdered? <sighs> they weren't murdered. Oh, do you remember when I came out here to quietly look for fires? They weren't. Just look around. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Nice. One well, on the plus side, I didn't actually, you know, uh, use up all the shots yet. Though I <laughs> I need to... Clearly, I might actually need this. Uh, the teens... Tamka, ooh. It was properly torn up. Yeah, let's, let's take... Oh, and their clothes are still here. Oh, they're, on the, they're, on, they're somewhere on the move and naked. There we are. Need to be careful not to use up all the shots in this thing. Now, a note. Uh, what's that? Dear Psycho, I hope you're happy. We're leaving. We're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped us at the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental axe murderer and are so going to jail. Okay, so there we are. Well, now we know that the girls did indeed break into our place, presumably. Oh, unless the guy who we saw on the cliff broke into our place scared off the teens, stole their panties, and then actually dumped the stuff he stole here too. And he just took over their campsite because he wanted it. But I'll report it. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Uh, it, it, it's not nice. Um, <laughs> calling the police. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? Um, I may have destroyed their stereo. No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. 
Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Well, we've got that note, and oh! That's what we've got so far. That is indeed the end of what they have released. As I said at the uh, the beginning of the first part, they have indeed very kind of carefully decided that they are going to uh, lock this down. Nobody gets to play the ending beyond what I'm guessing is the end of chapter two, beyond the, uh, the release of the full game on February 9th, as it says there. I'm enjoying this. There's something about it that's just very kind of relaxing and intriguing. It's nice to be in an area where like the paths aren't like too obvious or anything, where actually you actually do have to rely on your compass and your map to kind of navigate a little bit. It's cool, it's relaxing to play. It reminds me of a bit of Life is Strange and a bit of the beginner's guide. It's just, yeah, a relaxing, relaxing game to just kind of walk through and observe. I'm enjoying it and uh, I will definitely consider doing a bit more of this. Let me know if you'd like to see the rest of this when this comes out on February 9th. You want me to kind of do a quick series covering the rest of this game. I can't imagine this is a hugely long game. But uh, I'm genuinely not sure. But there you are. That there is the end of Firewatch, or at least the part that they've released to the press. And that means we have absolutely no idea who was responsible for some of the trouble uh, that we run into there. Who? I'm guessing whoever that bloke was that we saw with the flashlight was responsible for, uh, you know, trashing the girl's campsite. He might still have been the one to rob... Yeah, he might still be the one to steal my sheets and so forth. Uh, that's entirely possible. Though... There is fairly compelling evidence it was the girls that, um, yeah, that kind of broke the uh, broke the wire because their beer cans were up there. So if they were the ones that, unless, of course, he, oh, if he broke their campsite and stole their beer, then potentially that was that guy. But if that was only one guy rather than two, he was getting through beer at even twice the rate I thought those two girls were. So he's getting through beer at even more of a ridiculous rate. Who knows? I'm, I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious. Like, yeah, if, if people if people are enjoying this and people want to see the rest of this, I'll probably put the rest of this on the channel. But if not, I'll probably kind of play through the rest of it on my own anyway, because I think it looks... I like this. I'm enjoying this hugely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Firewatch comes out next Tuesday. Let me know if you'd like to see the rest of it. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been the really rather interesting Firewatch. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Here, have a hat. Oh, you don't have a head. I'm sorry. That was really insensitive of me. Oh, I don't want to interface with whatever this is, but all right. Oh, God, he's running Windows 8. No bloody wonder it's all gone tits up. Fire extinguisher, if it's a choice between you and me, I'm afraid I'm sacrificing you just FYI.